It's grim news. Another body has just been recovered from the rubble of the condo collapse in Florida. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Christian Casas. Right now, the death toll is at 11, but 150 people remain unaccounted for. Mark Stramen is in Surfside, Florida, with the continuing search efforts. Rescue workers created a bucket brigade as they removed concrete rubble the size of basketballs bit by bit. We're going to continue and work ceaselessly. Officials in Surfside, Florida, say five days after the collapse, there is still reason for hope. There are certain areas that we have not gotten to, but we've been able to place cameras that seem to have large enough spaces, voids, that occupants may still be in there. First responders from Israel and Mexico are helping in the search. The team from Mexico, Sedania International, is using a dog named Oreo. Because of the weight, uh, she can go in other places that have more instability that another dog cannot go. Some family members have criticized the search efforts, saying they're going too slowly. Over the weekend, relatives were escorted to the site where they got a first hand look at the safety risks involved. They witnessed a rescuer tumble 25 feet down the mountain. That is a perfect example of the situation that we're dealing with. Federal investigators are also on the scene. The people of Florida want to understand how could this happen, uh, and then what could we do um, to, uh, to make sure it doesn't happen again. An assessment done by engineers in 2018 noted that in the garage, an abundant cracking and spalling of various degrees was observed in the concrete columns, beams, and walls. But an attorney for the Homeowners Association, as well as an engineer who spoke to CBS News, both said nothing warned of an imminent catastrophe. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Surfside, Florida. The National Institute of Standards and Technology says its team of six scientists and engineers will collect first-hand information on the collapse. That will help determine if a full investigation will be conducted. The team will only enter the site once it is deemed safe for them to do so.